Oh yeah, it looks Look at that. We've got no we've got no line there, so that's great. So we'll do this little tour again. What airport is this? This is 1S2. In fact, I'll connect to Pilot Edge. Uh, I'll be in November 572 Papa Papa. If anyone connected wants to, to Pilot Edge. if anyone wants to do some patterns, it's 1 Sierra 2. I'm not sure if if what will happen if you don't have this particular scenery package, but Winsock Camper Details. Again, the R forty four. That person left their garage open. There's quite a bit of detail going on here. Jeez. I know this. Uh, I know this. Asked this before. I missed the answer. I recently upgraded my system and wanted to know what you recommend for scenery enhancements and plugins. I've been avoiding most of it due to system restrictions. Um, well, scenery enhancements. I mean, obviously, the number one, number one is is um, you know, orthophoto. Uh, if you're if you're talking about X plane, orthophoto. Uh, there, that you can download Fork Boy Ortho, which is great, or you can build your own. I mean, that's that's like number one, right? And then Orbex True Earth Washington is groundbreaking. We're gonna do a flight between this airport, one uh, S two Darrington, and we're gonna go over to seventy four S, which is Anacortes. I don't know if that's how you say it, but you'll see the True Earth Washington, which it, to me is, it's the plug-in, it's the add-on of 2019, in my opinion. There's 1S2 default with True Earth Washington for comparison. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we have a little bit more seamless integration here with not having that conflict, so that's good. Runway looks excellent. Let me uh, just triple cross verify that we're, yeah, visibility's good, okay. Yeah, we don't have the bleeding through of the global airport because some of the buildings were overlapping. So this is this is good. So just to make sure when you are installing this particular airport or any, any Orbex airport, just make sure that it's above uh, above your global airports and you'll be good to go. We were talking about the uh, Darrington Do It Best hardware. Have you ever tried FSE or Ultimate Mod? Uh, FS Enhancer or the Ultimate? What, what, I've tried the Ultra Weather XP. I'm not sure if that's what you mean. I don't think that's what you mean by the Ultimate Mod, but... Oh, another motorcycle. That one looks... That's a ninja. That looks great. These houses look amazing. What a sim we live in. Oh, there's Pilot Edge. 
Someone's, I don't know if that's a drone or if that's someone real. Map.pilotedge.net will tell you whether or not that was a drone or someone real. If it was someone real, then they have different scenery than I have because they were not on the runway. Definitely a custom building. This is that's the sheriff's sheriff office and the post office. Okay. I'm renting uh, this. Oh, that's the Darrington Motor Inn. Yep. See, I I own this in the in the sim, and you can rent this in the X Pine Eleven from me if you want to. The Darrington I G A. Thank you, Iron Condor. Oh, that's that's the ultimate mod. I don't think I've tried that one before. This is a very important store right there. Galloping Goose Gifts and Sundries. And, of course, Darrington Liquor and Wine. And again... Sirloin steak on sale, peaches, you'll play yogurt, and Totina pizza rolls. <gasps> the shell up here looks fantastic. That is some pretty cheap gasoline. I'm just, just, I think I'm going to fill up there. Cars are following the roads. That's a good looking house right there. Hey, oh, that's not a house. That's a church. First Baptist Church. There we go. I think that church should have an ADSB antenna and feed. And, and also a live ATC uh, feed. Just my opinion. Got some maintenance buildings over this way. All right, let's do a, uh, a pattern or two. Got some nice static aircraft here. Looks like it's a spot where you could come and hang out. Darrington. Oh. Motor in. It's a really fascinating uh, shirt that he has on. I like it. Iowa Scotsman, good morning. Do they do Easter eggs? If they do, I I just have I've never seen them. Okay, again the chalks removed, closing the doors, turning on the master avionics. Grabbing the key. Turn on the recog. Loves five. Fuel pump. I didn't I, I missed it in chat if someone knows what A and C is. A and C. Alright, full mixture prop. Clear. So when I, so it is, it's air, air, air. So A and C is air conditioning, climate control. Okay. And I don't know what the auxiliary does there. Okay, we'll have the fuel pump on for takeoff. So this runway look a little bit different on this go around.
Hmm. Shorthand for AC DC. <laughs> It'll play ba black in ba black in back black in black or back in black. Black in black. Now, as you can see, there's no double lines, so that's good. The nice thing about the Panther is you just got this really wide, you know, view. It's good for showing airports. I mean, obviously the helicopter would be ideal to kind of go around and see things, but uh, from a from a from a plane perspective, I think no no one coming in. Yeah, from a plane perspective, I think uh, this th this has a you know wide field for a view. Okay, we'll line up on runway 28. And we'll do landing lights, nav, strobes. Fuel pump is on. Here we go. Change the time of day just to get a different perspective. Here we go. Traffic. Traffic. Descend. Descend. Gear coming up. Oh, there's the traffic coming in. Ah! Okay, so that was a drone, it looks like. I'm thinking that was a drone, but I'm not sure. Clear of climb. conflict. Climb. climb. Clear climb. of conflict. Climb. It's really loud, isn't it? I think I think it's a little easier to land coming in from the other direction, but Would you do a low approach with your gear down? Probably not.
It's hard to do pattern work on 2.8 with this mountain right here, huh? See if we can do a touch and go. Oh, that river's kind of cool looking. Okay, this time we'll try to land on runway 10. Yep, True Earth Washington, fantastic. Love the trees. That was a bump and go. Signature move. Alright, I'm going to try a maneuver here. <laughs> 